welcome to a new artist diaries vlog today first of all i wanted to show you guys my new studio space and this was actually the first day i was fully set up and working in my new space which is very very exciting and as you can see i also put down a bunch of my cards in the card rack next to me and yeah this i'm very happy that i can have the space uh, I actually haven't had uh, a studio separate from my house in three years. And the last studio I had um, was in 2019 and I stopped um, renting it in 2020 because uh, of the pandemic basically. Since then I didn't really have a space. while i'm here i just want to remind you to subscribe to my channel it is just one little click and it helps me out a lot Just quickly um, checking in it is Monday the 28th of January today and I just finished a live stream um, while I was working on the patron reward of uh, February the current state of my artwork this is the refer the picture that I am trying to emulate in my own way and this is what it is right now so i have a very long way to go and it was a very big struggle today on stream with the youtube that i'm doing right now and how much i am enjoying making videos i feel unsure about doing any form of live streaming at the moment because it takes a lot of energy for me to be present and since this is gonna sound so stuck up but back in the day i streamed four nights a week and i was pretty successful and i always had people talking in my chat there was never really a dull moment and yeah that's just not the case anymore because i i lost my momentum when i got very sick when I got chronically ill, so I couldn't continue. And now every time when I stream, 80% or 85% of the time, it's silent in my chat for all the time or for like bouts. And I cannot get over it. I cannot get over it. It's making me feel discouraged. It's making me feel like I'm doing it for no reason. And yeah, like, I, it makes me sad. It makes me sad because why am I streaming if nobody is, like, interacting or, or telling me that they're watching it? What, why am I bothering? And I know that so many people start out that way. And, you know, like, I, I applaud you. I applaud you. Like, definitely do it. But... What I am doing today is working on, on, on the Patreon reward and it is at least going to a place where it doesn't look very ugly anymore. Trying to emulate the same feeling that this painting has is so hard and it looks maybe easy but it's fucking difficult. So yeah, I hope that it's gonna turn out nice otherwise i just have to start again and, and and try again to make something else but that was my little update it is january 29th and it's 11 o'clock already uh i might work a little bit longer on this and uh then i will put it down for today 
so my iPad is very low on battery anyway and I will look at it freshly tomorrow hopefully that's that, that's gonna give me some time to figure out how to make this painting into a success so wish me luck and yeah you, you will see how it turns out in a in a while in a bit all right bye hello good afternoon i have a few things that I need to do today and I thought I would take you along with me. So um, this morning I had a job interview which is why I have on a slightly fancy outfit today <laughs> um, and it went quite well so I'm very excited about that and yeah I will have to wait and see what's gonna happen with that but tomorrow I have my burlesque course again and I actually have some DIY to do so i have a few things i need to do today one i need to create some pasties for myself for the show uh and i bought some felt for this um yeah i bought some felt step one then the second i need to re-glue or reattach some of my uh bedazzling onto my gloves that i made because they were falling off and I was like throwing them everywhere when I was dancing which was not uh, not what I envisioned at all and then the third thing on the list for today in the burlesque thing is that I need to see if I want to bedazzle my dress and I need to uh, seam rip a little bit up the side seam so I have enough room and I create a little split because when we were practicing last week I realized that at some point we need to do like quite a, a wide leg movement and it was very uncomfortable the dress was a little bit too tight so I think if I seam rip uh, the side seam a little bit and create a, a side slit a leg slit that uh, is gonna work so much better so those are the few things that I need to do today uh, that are concerning uh, burlesque and then besides that I really need to finish the third uh, patreon reward of this year um, I already did all the research for it uh, and got all the materials ready yesterday evening actually but yeah that 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 would be nice if I could do that after this oh and I need to order um, a t-shirt because somebody at the last market ordered a um, uh, made to order print uh, a printed t-shirt so I need to order that ASAP because I, I I am a bit late with that <laughs> so <clears throat> I need to do that as well and yeah so how about we get into it I will see which one we're gonna do first <laughs> You will need uh, fabric scissors, you need some type of felt as your base, it could be any color that you want basically. You need some kind of marker so you can mark off where you need to cut your felt or some kind of marker especially for fabric. And then you need some type of glue, which I forgot to put here, but yeah, uh, uh, like, like this one. And those are your basics and then obviously you need something to bedazzle it with but those are the basics i found a cup that will work because it's just a little bit wider than my pasties all right let's fold it double so i don't have to cut out two times that will save me a little bit of time let me see Let's hope that this works. Yeah, this will work. Alright. Can you see this? Yeah. Cut it out. 
I need to cut a slit in them so I can make a comb shape out of them, like these. Um, and what I want to do quite bad, uh, which I had in my brain for a while, is make stars instead of just uh, circle shapes, which is gonna be a pain in the butt. So I think what I'm gonna do is first to figure out how much of the slit I need and how much I need to like actually fold them. So how about I just do that first? Get the center kind of of the... I'm just doing this by eye, so I hope that I get the center kind of... I think it this will be fine. I don't know if you can see this. But now you have a little guide to cut on. All right, by the way, excuse my dirty desk. <laughs> it is absolutely gross. And here are some marks that I made when I first started hot fixing my brownstones and I forgot to put something under them. So, oops, mistakes were made. Anyway, so I, I have these little rounds, the circles with a hole in it, and now I'm gonna either form them around my existing pasties because, because I know that they are a good size or I'm just gonna like fit them on my bust to see how I want them. Once you have folded them or that you know what size you want them you just have to put a line where the two little bits are overlapping so right here at the edge and then you can actually already glue them together. Alright, I have two little cups and while they dry, because I just glued them, I want them to dry properly, so that's gonna take some time. I put a lot of glue on that. <laughs> In the meantime, I am going to do something about this dress split. I put it on like this. Maybe like here-ish, here-ish. Let me just put a pin in this. I'll just put a pin in here so that I shouldn't go further than this. I need to seam rip this whole section, but it's, it should be fine. Okay, let's get going. stitches were very visible so I, I think I'm gonna hand stitch actually and maybe do like make sure that I do like an extra stitch like right here where it's like coming undone and cut this up and let's see let's see how far it is now oh this is perfect this is gonna be very sexy I think the slit is like my knee is like there so the slit is like half of my thigh which is pretty perfect i think for the purpose of this dress yeah all right i checked that off the list i have these two little bases for my pasties <laughs> they are very flimsy at the moment but as soon as you put on the, the, the glue that will hold it to your boobies oh these my boobies <laughs> it gets quite hard as you can see so th that's that's gonna be just fine but I need to figure out what I actually want to put on this um, what is in here is all the stuff in here that I need? I'll show you in a second 